Hey everyone, it's Rhonda. Welcome back to my channel. Let's see how this goes. Um, I've got a lot to cover today. Remember we were working in this, this little ready-to-alter uh, journal. And I've cut out some extras to stick in here and then she will be done. Just trying to flip through here and see what needs to be done to her. And I hope everyone is doing well, having a great week so far. I'm just hoping this, these old pages stay in here because I didn't reinforce them. Should have done that. I'm just looking for places that need a little help here. This is called decorating. <laughs> I think I'm going to put that there. So this is, there's going to be a lot I'm going to cover instead of doing separate videos. Just trying to catch up here in the studio and, um, and get some things going and finished. Wish I could remember where I got that. I don't know if it was a, you know, just a piece of ephemera in a package. I can't, I can't remember those types of things. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so this could be a pocket that open, kind of opens up, and I. This is like funeral receipt. That is sad. We need to cover that up. We don't want funerals up there. You might hear some, some banging. Oh, and we have a woodpecker. <laughs> he uh, gets the gutter. Or not a gutter, but just close to the roof. I don't know what he's doing. Okay. So if you hear that, don't be surprised. <laughs> okay, so we made this. I might make something to go in here. Another little pocket. Just filling in the blanks. <clears throat> Boy, I sure did get a lot of requests for images that I don't own, and I don't know where I got them. But I've let every request know um, in the comments if they want a copy of that, what to do. And um, I'm ha more than happy to share. Not my, um, oh, did I add that when we were on video? I don't remember, ladies. Just flipping through here. Um, I don't mind sharing images. So, oh, she's loose. This is just a simple decorating kind of day here. We're supposed to get in the 70s this week. Oh, see, another page came out. Wow, it's going to be hard to sell this if that's happening. Where's the other side of it? I do new. Oh, lordy. Why is that happening? These old papers. Oh, I've got this glue on here and nowhere to stick her. Um, holy moly. I wish that hadn't happened. Well, nothing else, nothing else feels like it's loose. Maybe that was from the other day, too. That's okay. 
I'll figure it out. So you, whoever buys this, you won't be getting a journal that the pages fall out. How embarrassing. Okay, real life here, real life. Um, actually, I do think that was from the first time. I'm not sure. Not 100% sure. Okay. I really, really, really like her. I don't know where to put her. Hmm. Well, let's see. There are. I did want to put a pocket in here, so. Hmm. I'm going to put her there. Now what I would like to also add are more places to maybe write, but there seems to be enough. There seems to be enough in here. And then I'm going to, oops, just stick some images in here. And that. And then I'll go through it and make sure that every page is secure. But I just wanted to show that to you. This is kind of needing some kind of shape in here. But that's this, this little one. And this page definitely needs torn. It's just a tad too big, too long. didn't look good at all. There we go. There we go. And then I wanted to show you that I ran some words on a coffee stain paper that I buy. And I want to try to get the glue off my fingers and I wanted to use Mademoiselle on here so we're gonna rip it rip Mademoiselle and then I made sure that the uh, color of the font was like a, a, a shade of gray and not just black because you course you can um, change the color of your font let me put that out of the way yeah and we're going to add her to the front Oof, that's a lot of glue I need to wipe that off that's just too much glue There you go. Mademoiselle. Get that on there straight. And she is almost finished. I might add this image to her. So I'm going to stick that right there. So she is almost finished. And next time I upload listings in my shop, she will be in there. Okay, that's that one. Am I going to tie this one up? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, not with that page sticking in there. You know, I was looking in Etsy for thin twine, 
and I found it on Amazon, five dollars. I love it. I love the more thin twine, not the kind you get at the hardware store. Okay, so what are we gonna do next? Um, let me get rid of my scraps. Um, well, I could show you. I just listed in my Etsy shop, not 20 minutes ago, some new digitals. Uh, this one is in the shop. It's that sample, that French sample uh, whole sheet card that Angie gifted me in a happy mail. And it has a lot of lighter samples that people tell me they can't find sample cards with that the lighter beige and white and then it has other colors greens and purples and reds and pinks so that one is in my shop if you want to get that one and then I did another one with full size um, scans that I have well all my digitals are scans I don't I don't have the software to create um, the beautiful digitals that are in shops today, but these are two uh, scanned brides uh, You can find these in my shop And then I did three pages of just the fronts of the French envelopes the antique French envelopes so you can you can find those in my shop. It's just the fronts. I don't. I didn't do the backs, so they'd be great for pockets. If you wanted to add a pocket or just do a collage with them. So there's just a little bit of promoting. I don't do a lot of it. I hope. And then, and this is not my idea at all. This, but uh, we're going to be looking at this bride and groom wedding journal that I'm working on and <clears throat> I already inserted the tied into the um, <coughs> excuse me the uh, signature pages that I had to remove because I they it was too thick um, so we'll be going over this and then I just wanted to show you how I created these uh, postcards with using a printed copy of a cabinet card of a bride and groom and I'll show you how I did that and then we'll go back to this I'll show you so you just take your image that you want I printed it on regular copy paper and then find the postcard that you like the back because you're going to cover the front and you glue it on try to make it in the middle and then you're going to have to lose some of the postcard to fit the image and then I rounded the corners with my punch so that's what I'll be doing on these this one is an image from Angie yeah you know find the the postcard that you don't care about the front as much but maybe the back is really pretty and so this one is 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 a really big French uh, cabinet card but I'm going to put it on this postcard give it some strength and insert it in a journal so I won't glue these and and do that you you can figure that out I'm sure and that is just how easily I did that that uh, progress on those for this for this wedding journal that I'm making and she's turning out really nice but I'm taking my time on her here's another one so basically what happens is I can't part with these I don't mind scanning them and printing them um, but then I wanted them to have a lot more strength than just regular card stock so I put them on a postcard and I forget who was doing that on YouTube and so I'll just show you the progress of this 
And this is that same image that I have in my shop below here. Everything's getting stuck. <laughs> yeah, this is this is in my shop, that image. Let me get this in there to hold it down. There, I got it. So this is the progress I've gotten so far on here. Like I said, I, I had those I put the signatures in, and now I'm just trying to fill the pockets and maybe add a few more images, but I won't put you through that indecisiveness that I have. Oh, I tell you, I, I would come in here for a couple hours and say, I'm not feeling it. <laughs> now, I'm not quite sure that's a wedding picture, but maybe it's an engagement picture. And it's on a postcard, a French postcard. So I included her. And then this is a real postcard. And I think it's from Jenny. Uh, when we did that collaboration, I still need to uh, do a video making um, something from that collaboration. It's, it's just so beautiful. I have it in a special place, Jenny. Anyway, this to me is a chateau that maybe they had their wedding at. And, and look at all the writing on the back. I love it. And then here's the menu, the French menu. And then here is another postcard that I was able to fit the picture with still some uh, writing on it, printing on it. And then here's the back of it. I love that M. I thought that turned out pretty nice. And then I made this pocket yesterday, the little tuck. I added embellished to it with uh, some antique ribbon flower. And then this is a thought I had yesterday, but it is making the book a little bit more thick, but who cares? <laughs> and so I'm going through here slow. And then I just did a little French petite envelope. I um, put some lace on it and trim, and then there's a letter inside. And then here's just a little peek. I might add some pages to that for writing. There we go. And then in here, here is another uh, postcard that I did. I put my a copy of this picture on there. And I had to trim it a lot, but it still has that nice thickness in that pocket. So there's still some pages for writing, and I still have to add a few more for decorating. Um, and here in the back is another one of my uh, wedding uh, photographs on top of an old postcard from France. So, and that's it. And I, the way the book cover I covered it I, I searched and searched all of my patterns digital patterns and this matched perfectly the greens and I really 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 tried to expose some of the fleur little fleur de lis that's in here but it didn't happen it just started to develop and it didn't happen and I need to trim it some more but I just wanted to show you guys where this is going. Like I said, I still have a lot to do on it. And so in finishing, I think I just wanted to show you that over the weekend I sat here. <clears throat> oh, it's really dry in here. And I just made, took all my scraps and all my uh, ephemera and I made some more blank uh, journals here. Yeah, uh, some of them are going to have, uh, I already put them away, some of them are going to have an image clipped to it when I put them in the shop, and then you can use it or not. But I like to have something on the front <clears throat> a little bit. 
and I made I don't know how many. So this, I mean, they still some of them actually still need to be, uh, you know, trimmed on the side. So there's three, four, five, six, and then I've got this whole thing full. So let's see, seven, eight. <laughs> Nine, ten, oh wait, eleven, and then I made, so eleven of these, put those away, and then I made uh, more of the envelope little booklets, and since I was in the mood, <laughs> there could be a pocket in here, I think, yeah, so the next time, and I don't know when, it could be next week, probably, I'll do another uh, upload listings, and and um, you might be able to grab some of these, some of these little blank journals and have fun. They're just the perfect size. They're not intimidating. Sometimes when you get the big size, you're like, ah, where do I start? Well, start with a little one. That's what I say. And... Uh, Anyway, I'm going to go. It's lunchtime here. What was I thinking? And uh, I'm going to go, and I thank you for watching and being supportive. Your comments get me through this every time. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Take care, and I'll talk to you soon.